Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the definition of terminology in the network topology. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Definition of terminology in the network topology. First we will see what is meant by network. Any interconnection of passive and active elements constitute an electric network. So by interconnecting the elements, passive or active element is a network. A network which consists of passive element only is called passive network. A network which consists of active element also is called a active network. Right? So the collection of a interconnection of a element is a network. Now we will see the diagram, the network diagram. So this is a network diagram available. So here the elements are interconnected, voltage source, resistor, capacitor, inductor are interconnected. This is called a network. So there are seven elements are available, voltage source R1, R2, R5, R6, C4 and L2. There are seven elements are available. Right. Next we will see the node. What is mean by a node? Node is a point in a network where two or more elements are joined, joined together. Junction, junction of a element is called a node. In the two types available, simple node, principal node. For example, this A and B is a simple node. The junction where the two elements are connected, only two elements are connected mean called a simple node. So A is a simple node connecting EM of source and R1. B is the another simple node connecting L2 and R2. So this more than two elements are available means it is called a principal node that is A, B, C and 0, O. These four are the principal nodes. Here more number of more than two elements are connected. At A, R1, R2, R5 are connected. Three elements. In 0, O, R, R5, C4, R6 are connected. Here in C, here one element is connected, R6, L2 also connected. At B, C4 and EM of source is connected. Right? Let us consider here also we have one inductor is available. This inductor is also connected. Let us consider this is L3. Right? So, so the junction where two elements are connected means simple node. Junction where more than two elements are connected means principal node. Right? So here we have two nodes, two simple nodes available A and B and four principal nodes O, A, B and C. Right? So there are four, four principal nodes and two simple nodes are available. Next we will see the branches. What is mean by branch? The element is connected between two principal nodes is here called a branch right so the a and b these two are the yeah, two principal nodes between this is nothing but a branch right so a b is a one branch right so the element connected between two principal nodes is called a branch between two principal nodes is called a is branch so what are the how many branches available there are six branches are available a b B C C A A O O C O B like that there are six branches are available where two nodes between the two principal nodes the elements are connected is called a branch. So this A B is one branch, B C is one branch, C A is one branch, A O O B O C R. There are six branches are available. Right. Next we will see the loop. What is mean by loop? A single closed path for a current flow is called a loop. So what are the closed paths available here? See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 loops are available. We will see this loop one by one. Loop is nothing but closed path for the current flow. First one is A, O, B, again A. A, O, B, A is a one closed path. It is called a loop. Next one. A, O, B. C A. This is the another closed path. Starting from A, O, C and A. This is another closed path. Then B, O, C, B. So this is the another closed path. Right. 
so this triangle this triangle this triangle then fourth one is b a o c b right so b a c b this is another fourth closed path then b o a c then again o this is the another closed path starting from b o a c then o this is the another closed path then b o c then a b this is the another closed full full path is the another closed path then a b c a a b c a this is the another closed path so there are seven closed paths are available that is called the there is a, the, the names are given here right so this is the network interconnection of elements there are eight elements available two simple nodes available simple node means connecting only two elements if more than two elements are connected it is called principal element principal node a b and o then six branches are available between the two node the elements connected is called a branch this is one node this is another node so this is called one branch so that like that there are six branches are available then loop loop is near closed path there are seven closed paths are available right now we'll see the definition so what we discuss the definition is available a node is a point in a network where two or more elements are joined junction of three or more element is called principal node junction of only two element is called a simple node branch the elements or elements in series connected between two principal node is called a branch then loop a loop is a single closed path for the current flow right what we discussed the definition is available now we'll go to the next process next we'll see what is mean by graph and oriented graph if the nature of branches of the is no importance the nature the how the branches are connected is not important but we may represent them by lines all the elements can be represented by the line then it is called a graph of a network the elements are replaced and the lines are if you draw then it is called a graph of a network in the graph each element is numbered only for easy identification these elements are drawn by the line and given as a number for easy identification now we will see the graph of a network so the network what we discussed now then it there is represented as a graph right so there are this 1 2 3 4 5 6 six elements are available right is numbered so the elements are replaced by the lines and numbers are given for easy identification so this is called a graph of a network we don't know what are the elements are connected just we can able to know how many elements are there if you put the arrow mark if you put the direction the current is flowing this from top to bottom from this side the if the directions are given then it is called a oriented graph of a network right so the elements are replaced by line and numbers are given to the element that is called a graph of a network if the directions also given then it is called a oriented graph of the network if the reference directions are indicated by the arrow each line then graph is called a oriented graph right now we'll see the connected network what is mean by connected network and subgraph the connected network is a network is said to be fully connected if there is at least one path from each node to every other node thus the network show above is a fully connected network right so what we discussed earlier so far the network is a connected network what is the connected network one path from each node to every other node right one node should be connected to all other nodes that is called a uh, is called a connected network now we'll see this so here we have four nodes available one two three four see here if this node is connected to every node here connected to this is the b b is connected to o b is connected to a b is connected to c also so that is called a connected graph connected network so what we discussed 
is a connected network. Now we will see the subgraph. What is mean by subgraph? So it is a subset of branches and the node of a graph. From the network we can have subset. It is called a subgraph. In the two types available. Proper subgraph, improper subgraph. What is improper subgraph? So let us consider this network. What we discuss? Same network. A, B, C, O. Four nodes are available. In a subgraph also four, four nodes are available means it is an improper subgraph. Here all the nodes are available. A, B, C as well as O. Then it is called a improper subgraph. If it is less number of nodes. Here four nodes are available. If the less than four. Three or two nodes are available mean it is a normal proper subgraph. Right? Contain branches and nodes less in number than the than those of graph. Then it is called a proper subgraph. Contain all the nodes. Then it is called a improper subgraph. So here all the nodes are available. Here three possibilities are given A, B and C. Only three nodes are available. This is one subgraph. Here A, B and O is available. This is another subgraph. Here A, C and O is available. This is another subgraph. Like that we can draw some more subgraph also. I contain only less number of nodes here four nodes available less than four means three three or two we can draw that that is a subgraph if you, all nodes are available that is an improper subgraph now we'll see the what is mean by tree of your network and what are the properties of the tree of the network now consider this oriented graph what we discussed earlier based on that we'll see what is mean by tree and what are the properties first we'll see the tree tree of a connected graph is defined as any set of branches which together connected all the nodes of the graph without forming any loop. The branch of a tree are called twigs. So tree, tree is nothing but a connected which connected together all the nodes but without forming the loop. The loop should not be formed. It's, it should connect the nodes. The branches in the tree is called the twigs. Then co-tree. What is meant by co-tree? Remaining branch of the graph which are not in the tree form a co-tree. The branches of co-tree is called link or cords. So the tree is nothing but is a set of connected node but it should not form the loop. So some part of the network will be connected. The network not connected is a co-tree. Not what connected is a tree, but the part which is not connected is a co-tree. The branches of the tree is twigs. The branches of a co-tree is link or cords. Now we will see the different combination of the tree. So this is the oriented graph. For this oriented graph, we are going to draw the tree. So this is the first one. There are four possible trees are given. We will see the first one. This is the first tree. So this line is the tree. One, four, three. But it should not, uh, it should not form the closed loop. So it cover all the nodes. One, this is A, B, C as well as O. But it is not covered. That is called a tree. The tree should not cover any loop, should not closed. So these parts are not covered. That is given by dotted lines. So this dotted line is a co-tree. So the line is a tree. Dotted line is a co-tree. So branches of the tree. 1, 3, 4. 1, 3, 4 is nothing but a twigs. The branches of the co-tree. 2, 5, 6. Is called a links or cords. Right. So this is a oriented graph in that these lines refer the tree, the dotted line refers the co-tree, the branches in the tree 1, 3, 4 are called the twigs, the branches in the co-tree 2, 5, 6 are called the links. So these are all the other possible co-trees. So we already detailed discussed one tree, another three possible trees are available here, these lines. These lines are the 
3. So, A, B, C as well as O all are covered. The outlines is a not covered that is a co tree. So, 4, 5, 6 is the twigs. 1, 2, 3 under the co tree is the link or card. Now, another another possible tree is this line and 2 and 5. 3, 2, 5. That is another possible tree. So, 2, 3, 5 is coming under twigs. That is the branches of the tree. The daughter lines not available in the tree. The remaining part that is a co tree. So, 1, 4, 6 is coming under link or card. Another possible 1, 2, here 4. 4, 1, 2. This is another possible tree. So, 1, 2, 4 coming under twigs. 3, 5, 6 daughter lines is coming under link. Right? So, the tree is nothing but connected, yeah, connected, connected nodes, branches which are connected, which cover all the nodes. The part which is not connected is the co tree. This line is a tree, the, the part not is covered, outline is a co tree. The branches of trees, twigs, the branches of co trees, link or card. Now we will see the one formula is available. The tree of n node network will have n minus 1 branches. So here we have 4 nodes are available a, b, c and o. n is 4. So that n minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3 branches. So every tree possible tree is having 3 branches. We will see that. So these 3 branches 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, right? So, 4 nodes available mean each tree contain 3 branches. N minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3 branches. So, here now we discuss the what is mean by tree, what is mean by co tree. Tree is nothing but connected graph. The branches are connected together which cover all the node but it should not close loop. So, some part of the network is a tree. The part which is not covered is a co tree. The branches of tree is twigs. The branches of co tree is link or card. If n number of node means n minus 1 branches available in the tree. In this example, what we discuss, 4 nodes are available, 4 minus 1, 3 branches. So every every possible tree having 3 branches. Now we will see the planar and coplanar graph. So let us consider this network having 5 nodes are available 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all are connected to the connected, connected graph. It is a planar graph since no links overlap with another. There is no overlap here. All are interconnected. So that is called a planar graph. The same thing here. So overlapping is there. The branches are overlapped. If it is overlap, then it is called a non-planar graph. What is that? It is a non-planar graph since many links are overlapping. Also, the links of the graph cannot be reconfigured in a manner that would make it planar. So, if any overlapping is there, then it is called a non-planar graph. No overlapping means planar graph. Even though if it is overlapping, it is possible to reconfigure, then it is planar. But here, not possible to reconfigure. So that it is called a non-planar graph. Without overlapping, planar graph. With overlapping, not possible to reconfigure, then it is called a non-planar graph. So in this video, we discuss the terminology, definition of terminology in the network topology. First we discuss what is network, what is mean by node, simple node, principal node, branches, loop, we discuss the sample network also. Then we discuss the graph, subgraph, what is mean by graph, what is mean by oriented graph, then tree, what is mean by tree, what is mean by co-tree, then planar and non-planar graph.
subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening